हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरीवन टू डॉक्टर चेस एपिसोड 20 दिस इज सागर शाह एंड आई एम हियर एट योर सर्विस फॉर चेस इंप्रूवमेंट first of all a uh, big apology for my delay uh, for coming to this session i know that it was scheduled at 10 but we are starting nearly an hour late uh, very sorry for that uh, there was some work that was pending and that i had to complete at all costs uh, from today is the mega diwali sale at chess base and i had to do some really urgent work related to it also Chessbase 16 is launching today, so you can buy it. Uh, Chessbase 16 will be available after 10 days, so it's a pre-order thing. Uh, and if you would like to get your hands to it, uh, hands on it, then you can avail of the mega discount. The link of what the discount is like and what uh, everything you can get is given in the uh, description. There's a link, so you can click and check it out. Yeah. so uh because of this i got a little bit tied up uh there are certain things that had to be completed but now i'm back as a doctor i could see the chat people were saying doctor is sick today nothing of that sort everything's good everything's good uh, very happy to see all of you here uh and so shall we begin let's go to the chess base india discord all those who have been uh, who are not a part of chessbase india discord there is a second link in the description please uh, join in and uh, let's start this is the chessbase india discord here and let's begin with the first person who is in the room vgs pranav Hello hello Pranav can you hear me Uh Pranav I can't hear you maybe you need to just check your audio need to check your mic I don't know if it's an issue from my end but I am not able to hear you maybe there's certain issues uh, with pranav or is it from my end let me just check very quickly voice and video headphones microphone looks good looks good everything seems fine for my from my end maybe pranav you need to go to such settings here just like how i did and check if everything is okay for you we will try to get you in the next in the queue uh, so we'll go to the next person and after that i'll try to get you back in by that time try to fix your audio issues yeah let's go to anant next and uh, anant is in the appointment lobby let's get him here हेलो 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 अनंत कैन यू हियर मी यस आई कैन हियर यू गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग कैन यू स्विच ऑन योर कैमरा श्योर श्योर जस्ट जस्ट अ सेकंड इफ यू कैन गिव मी जस्ट अ सेकंड आई विल बी स्विचिंग इट आर यू 22 इयर्स ओल्ड नो सर 18 अ 18 नो Very close, yeah. I'm seventeen minutes. Yeah, very close. Yeah, very close. Is it? Is it seventeen? Oh, nineteen. Sir, I'll be turning seventeen uh, on the ninth of November. Uh, 
Yeah. Really, in two days is your birthday. Yes. Sir. Fantastic. Good to see you, Anand. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Where are you from? Sir, I am Bhopal. Bhopal. Um, yes. Sir. And okay. I have been playing chess since I was. My current rating, I not yet uh, had a PD rating. I okay. Need to get a, get it. It's the lot. Uh, your your voice is breaking somehow. Can you keep your phone in a way that uh, it doesn't move or you know just? Okay, sir. Surely. Uh, so is it fine now? Yeah, now better. Okay, sir. So uh, my current online rating is uh, around sixteen to seventeen hundred. Okay. And sir, I had few doubts regarding some openings. Okay. Not some, but just a particular opening. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, let me share my screen with you. So you By can. By the way, sir, I have been uh, means a uh, first time I am coming to this doctor chess, and I am big fan of. You are a great teacher. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Me. Thank you, Anand. Thank you. Uh, what what is it that I can help you with? If you can tell me. Sir, I want some help in the King's Indian attack opening, which we play from white. And uh, in th- that opening particularly, I mm. wa- wanted help in some variation. The first I want to discuss is the uh, how to play King's Indian attack against Caro kind of. Okay, let's see. Can you, if you can tell tell some middle game ideas now. Okay, first let me get you on the screen. Can you see my computer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your your stream is visible. Uh, on on Discord. Yes, I'll discuss. Okay. Okay. So here you are. Uh, you said that you would like to know about how to play against the Karo Khan. Yeah. Uh, e four c six. Yes, sir. And uh, you go d three. Yes, sir. D d five. Knight d two. Yeah. And here, I mean, black has many ways to continue. I think the main move is e five. Okay. Yeah. Yes. The main move is e five. And then knight f three, and bishop d six. This is how the black players play, always. Yes, sir. And yes. here uh, you can continue with the traditional g three move. Yes, sir. But I believe that there is a very interesting move here, uh, which is d four. Okay, sir. D D four. Yeah. Uh, let me just see if how many. Look at this. There are so many games that have been played, and it's also been played by Carlson. It's been played by Kramnik. Lot of good players have played it. Uh, and yes. when I was preparing with the black pieces, I do remember that after e takes d four. Uh, e takes d five is what. White plays, and then uh, I wanted to play the move knight to f6 here with black. But still, I mean, after d takes c6, knight takes c6. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, how this position is. For example, you can continue with bishop e2, then put your knight on b3, then you can castle. You can maybe put your bishop to g5, d4 pawn. Is a strength is also a weakness. It's not so simple. So this this is a very concrete l- way to play the King's Indian attack. While if you so you should keep this option in hand, and whenever opponent plays here, you can uh, have d4 as a weapon, or else you can also continue with g3, which looks very uh, usual. You know, like how every time. White plays. Yes, sir. That's what I play against this g3 only. I play so. Oh, yeah, g3 is like a is like a main way to play, but d4 you can use as a surprise weapon, and okay. you should prepare it carefully, because if okay. he takes on e4, then after knight e4 you attack the bishop, and it's already yes. and d takes e5 is also a threat. Yes, sir. So it looks very good for you. Yes, sir. Yeah. So d takes e four is not so good, and he will uh, mostly good players will take. Then you take on d five. 
yes okay and so another <coughs> uh, another doubt in the same opening itself but not in the same variation i wanted to know if not in the cairo khan we can go back but uh, i wanted to know if black side if black plays with the pawn structure like uh, c5 d6 e5 yeah if that way like obviously we when when we play d3 so it seems as if we are playing a kind of lock sicilian against the sicilian yeah. so uh, if he goes proper like the setup if he plays e5 d6 and c5 yeah and we have the setup like e4 d3 g3 knight knight f3 knight d6 knight d2 bishop g2 all yeah uh, that if you can explain some of the middle game ideas yeah uh, first of all e4 c5 you go knight f3 yes. now it depends yes, on what move he plays because knight c6 might be the most irritating move for the king's indian attack players because uh, yes, if he plays a move like e6 then later on he will have to lose a tempo to play e5 so there yes, you sir. have a, a move edge if he plays yes. d6 then maybe you know later even this move may or may not be required and secondly it gives you an additional option with bishop b5 check uh, and knight c6 also you have an option to play the rosolimo with bishop b5 but let's say you want to stay in the king's indian territory so you play d3 Yes. G six. Ah, in yes. fact, I like this system with black quite a lot. G three, B G seven, B G two, E five, castles, knight E seven, and here, ah, uh, what black wants to do mostly is go D six, castles, ah, uh, H six, bishop E six, and try for either D five break or F five break. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I mostly face a problem in the when black goes for the f five break. Mm -hmm. So one idea which I play uh, usually is to remove the knight from f three to e one or to h two and uh, myself push the h four pawn or to have control of the b four pawn and play on the. But uh, both of them I feel somewhat is a bit cramping for me. Yeah, it gives a very good position for black. So if true, I mean, in general, even if you look at the scores, this line particularly has not scored so well. But the uh, yes. I I do believe that the player Amin Basim, who uh, keeps playing this line, is an expert at this. So you have so many games of him, like in the database, around twenty yes. games. So could be a good idea to follow what he does. So if I if I do check, uh, I think I can show it to all the viewers also here uh, as to what it means uh, when you are actually looking at the game. So maybe the face, Anand's face may get covered here. Uh, yes. Okay. Not able to show it right now. Ah, not this. Sorry. So, so just one. Yeah. Uh, we we have these two ideas here. Either remove the knight from f3 and play f4 yourself, or play on the going side by having control on b4. Is there any other idea also which we? I think one of the two? main ideas is to go for c3, a3, and b4. This yes, is so this is the most common idea, uh, and okay. let's uh, look at what Amin Basim has done. So maybe that could be useful. So he played with Bocharo. This is blitz, so not to be taken very seriously. But he went c3 a3 b4, then knight d2, knight b3 is putting pressure on c5, so b6 b5, knight b8 and d4. So he played very. Uh, you know very specifically he put his pawns on a3 and c3 played b4 then brought his knight to b3 and if if you take here then i think he would have taken ab activating his rook uh, perhaps push the pawn and then go d4 so this looks pretty good yeah yes sir uh, just a second i'm not sure if people are able to see it but just to show 
so here 97 c3 a3 b4 knight d2 bishop e6 knight b3 b6 and b5 and now d4 so this is how uh, amin basim got a decent position in one of the games let's look at another game uh, of his if we can learn something from that Maybe Amin versus Niduk. Niduk Alexander is from uh, Poland. And here also, after e4, c5, knight f3, he played the same setup. But here he is a tempo up than normally because black played e6 and e5. Yes, yeah, so normally, which uh, those who play e6 mainly go for the d. Yeah. And this, I mean, I think what Amin does is always this plan. And I think this is what you can try in your games also. White has a much lot of... Sorry? Uh, I was saying that it seems nice, like white is having much space on the queen side after the, uh, all those b5 and all those. Yes, but let's say d3, uh, g6 g3 bishop g7 bishop g2 e5 castles knight e7 c3 castles a3 uh yeah the idea is to go b4 and knight d2 knight b3 maybe b5 and then d4 i think this is one idea what you can also yes. think about is knight f3 uh knight c6 and now g3 here Okay. Keeping some op options open perhaps because g6, bishop g7, bishop g2, uh, sorry, bishop g7, bishop g2 castles. And here after e5, you haven't spent a tempo on d3. So maybe that gives you uh, an additional idea of playing c3, d4 in one go, you know, delaying yes, this. Oh. So maybe you can begin now with c3. And then knight a3, knight c2, and uh, d4. But all these lines, I think, are equal uh, in general. Like black, this is a good setup for black. But it's not like yes. bad for white, so you can play it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, sir, in ca in these cases, when black plays like this, knight, uh, knight c6, and all that stuff, do you suggest to remain in the spirit of king's indian attack or we should go for like bishop b5 and all that you would say you should start playing open sicilian open sicilian sir i can play but i like king's i know why you like it because there's less theory in it uh yeah that's one reason but yeah the general idea is that if i keep playing king's indian attack all my life it's very simple to play and i can often you know launch some dangerous attacks on the opponent but if you play more different kinds of positions you will be able to explore chess much better okay sir and my um, idea is to have king's indian attack as a part one of the parts of your repertoire like you know it well but you yes. should you should go for the open Sicilian e4 c5 knight f3 let's say and next move d4 or you can yes. go for the Rosolimo with bishop b5 because yes. what happens is that when you play such uh, open lines you learn a lot you improve faster because of yes. the variety of the positions that you are exposed to yes okay and sir just uh, last one thing yeah. Which is out of the board. Uh, I want to improve uh, chess. I, I obviously want to improve it at a very serious level and uh, at a nice level. But I don't have much coaches in my locality. As so, how can I improve by my, uh, myself if I want to play at a very serious level, very professional? Uh, I think the first thing is to play plan tournaments. And once you go to Sorry. a tournament, yeah. I do play tournaments. I am a regular tournament player. Do you play uh, offline? Like, do you don't have a FIDE rating, right? 
yes i don't play free tournaments but i play the local yeah so you should try and play some fide like right now you are practicing maybe you are watching a lot of streams you are learning a lot from this yes. and then after that when the lockdown is over try to play federated events once you play fide where do you live by the way bhopal bhopal yeah so niklesh is of course there uh, he lives yes. in bhopal so that is one person whom you can uh, take guidance from uh, over there but generally you can take help from some player in your area who is good in bhopal i'm sure there are many good trainers and you can play tournaments and try to improve from that okay sir but uh, I, i wanted to like i am not opening a free rating now because i don't uh, want to means underrate my rating yeah this is and... i think this approach for me doesn't work for me it's okay. very simple that if you want to improve don't take it as if your fide rating is going to be the deciding factor what you do is okay. you play you learn you improve and this is exactly what my strategy is with all the students yeah like for example right now i i am training biswa let's assume and uh, yes. or earlier it was samay and they have all improved from a certain level like they if you see the first episode of improving chess maybe their yes. rating was something around 1000 and now if you yes. see biswa is closing in on 1500 mark the reason is yes. not that uh, he the he played a lot he plays every day and you should also play because when you play you lose and you learn i know it's at an online level but even when you play tournaments yes, you play you get a rating of 1200 it's okay because i have yes. seen that many people got a rating of 2200 by you know very playing very carefully and after many years but then when they actually started playing a lot it was not their true strength and from 2200 they came down to 1800 once again yes so it's better to go from lower to higher rather than get a rating which is maybe not good for you and then come downwards yes yeah so don't yes. uh, try to stop yourself from playing the fastest way is to always try experiment learn improve go again fail uh or you know lose your games learn from it and so on yes okay okay so uh, just a last thing it's not a kind of doubt but just you know you don't promote uh, channel for me but i myself have a youtube live regularly i don't uh, obviously i don't teach i just sorry your voice broke off you have a youtube channel Yes, I have a YouTube channel and I uh, regularly stream on it. Okay. So, if someone would like to uh, visit the channel, so okay, fantastic. What is uh, it called? Its name is Chess Content. Chess Content. Okay, guys, if you would like to check out Chess Content, this is uh, Anand's Chess Channel where he he puts off puts out stuff. And uh, if you like it, then please do consider subscribing to him. and uh, you know following him okay, okay. anand thank you sir. take care and all the best for for you yes what is this your uh, nothing just your caller tune uh yeah okay very nice very nice good <laughs> anand uh, all the best <laughs> try to focus on chess not on uh, yes, other sir. things and try to improve yes, yeah try, go yes, steady sir. bye thank you sir See you. Okay. So that was Anant. And uh let's get the next guy. I think before that we shouldn't forget the one uh whom we VS VGS Pranav, right? It was let me get him to the room and see if now everything is working for him. forget the one uh, whom we hello pranav hello 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 pranav can you hear me yes sir i can hear you can you hear me sir uh, yes are you uh, 18 years old uh, like yes near to it 
हेलो अरे वी मेट राइट यस 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 लास्ट टाइम व्हेन यू आर वाचिंग योर योर लेसन एंड एंड फ्रॉम देयर यू केम डिड यू गेट इनटू ट्रबल नो सर नॉट एट नो नॉट एट ऑल ओके लास्ट वीक वी हैड मिड एग्जाम सर अदरवाइज आई वुड हैव जॉइंड लास्ट वीक आल्सो आई ट्राइड टू जॉइन लास्ट वीक बिकॉज़ आई हैव सम डाउट्स लेफ्ट You have you have some questions. doubts left. Okay, let's go over them uh, quickly. What are your doubts? Uh, th- that's it. I mean, I, I my problem is I can't explain my pro my weaknesses. I I couldn't figure out my weaknesses exactly, sir. Sometimes, uh, I get very um, like uh, very at good advantage in opening, and I mostly play an off board. So that's the biggest problem. If it is online, it is recorded, so we can go back and check. but uh, i play on board with my, my my father and my brother i don't play much on online because but then you should save are, your games uh, like on board how can we save uh, uh, i will uh, i will promote my new product here it's called chess base 16 uh, yeah. and whenever you play that's where everyone saves for example let's say today you want to write a letter or something then where do you write it in okay Where do you write? Paper. Paper. Yes. But on the computer, where do you write? Ah, uh, like a uh, MS Word. Yeah, some... MS Word. So in general, when someone wants to save a game or wants to analyze it, they do it on Chess Base. So you can actually get a Chess Base and save it in that. I think generally. It's very important to save your games. Yes, sir. If I you don't save, you last time that the baby did. You have mailed your games? No, sir. I have mailed you this problem, and you told me to take a premium account for Chess Base, and I took it last night. It's you have taken it? Ah, uh, yes, sir. The so morning then, I got this. I think I think anything. that is also a good way because I can I can show you how that works. Ah, uh, okay, sir. Um, let me just go here. or maybe maybe we'll do it here so ah uh, yeah this is okay i'm going to open this Tactic streaming. Okay, so let's put this here. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. What can you see? Uh, the mega Diwali sale twenty twenty. Okay, so uh, let's go to account dot chessbase dot com. Yes. and there when you enter you will have something known as my games this one access your games from okay. everywhere okay okay when you click here this will open up like this okay you will have your account and what you should do is you should create a new database here in databases you can say create database you say new okay and you give it uh, this is the new database that you have and now you can put in your game e4 c5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 g6 knight g5 bishop okay knight f6 bishop f7 and game is over okay now you go here and you go to save save as new and you mention your name what's your name pranav sir vgs pranav pranav vgs and i would write here sagar shah let's say you beat me and the result is 10 date tournament name whatever it is online chess 
and you save it and what happens is now this is saved correct so the way you do it is you save all your games in this manner one after the other in this database wherever you play and then you can always have it and you can share it with whoever you want to okay got it so this is one of the use there are many other uses of chessbase premium account but right now you wanted to save the game so i showed you this thing okay yes uh, all right uh, like i play game with you so that you can know what mistakes i do you want to play so a game play with me if you Yes, okay, sir, sir. let's go to the comedian's room. Do you have uh, the link? It's the second uh, link in the description. Okay. Okay, so I'm in the rooms. You're in the room. What's your name? Smart Pranav. Smart Pranav. Simple name. Okay. Yes, sir. I will. Uh, challenge you to a three plus two game. Okay, you can yes. accept it. Yes. Did you accept the game? You must click on invitations. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I am white. You are black. Just fix this before I make my move. Okay. Let's play D4. Can you remove your earphones? Then I can talk and I can talk okay. about this okay. game. Maybe then later after the game you can. Okay, so basically what I have done here is I've played the Zamish variation and I have tried to expand on the king side here. While he has not really started his play. So my plan is to go h4 and h5 here if given an opportunity. Uh, so black should be very careful in such a position because his king is already put on g8 while my king has the flexibility it can also go on the queen side if required and c6 makes a lot of sense because now he's trying to um, do something with in the center but anyway let's go for the attack i would love to play h5 open up the position uh, also possible was uh, long castle I'm thinking if I can play knight takes d5 here because if knight d5 queen d8 it, it will be like a perpetual pin but he will get 96 in the position later to kick my bishop away it looks very dangerous for him that is for sure should I play a little aggressively here? I think it could be a good idea. 
just trying to make sure if it is not a stupid risk i mean cd5 gives me a great great advantage uh, and a good position but let's try i'm going to take this he has to go queen d8 i think that's the only move a queen e6 knight c7 doesn't look good so queen d8 uh, think and then i want to oh this is a bad move i can just take here and i i'm just winning a piece so that just uh, stopped the game very abruptly you know if he went queen d8 i wanted to go knight f5 gf gf and then play that position where his knight can't come to e6 then rook g1 and try for some attack but now it's very simple yeah knight e6 i guess there are many ways now to to gain an advantage maybe bishop e2 uh with the or or i can just long castle yeah queen to a4 uh maybe king b1 just simply saving everything That's yeah, sometimes you are nervous, and so blunders do happen. But now, I guess it's too bad. yeah how how can we uh, sort of checkmate him very quickly i guess knight h6 looks good take and the knight is still defending g7 point but next move i can just push it away with knight c7 or knight e7 and i guess that should be game over pranav what is he thinking knight to f4 and now yeah pranav it's checkmate in one move yeah pranav how did you play uh, were you nervous yes yeah, so that's true and uh, in middle game uh, uh, I don't have any idea, sir. Like, what pieces to develop, how to launch an attack. I didn't have any idea in the game, and then I started blundering. It it's common, sir. Once I start blundering, I don't know how much. Yeah. So what I you should do is, uh, what you should do generally, and this is something which I keep telling people that you cannot improve without actually analyzing your game. And the way to analyze is to actually look at what you did. and then try to see if you can improve it over it so now this game you can save it and then you can check some games in the same opening by good players and see how they have played chess is not something which you can improve overnight you have to do daily steps so for example i did not like the fact 
for example if we if we see the game here i went d4 you went knight f6 i went c4 you went g6 knight c3 bishop g7 e4 t6 f3 castles knight g2 now here if you look at the top level games they do not put their knight on d7 immediately they play the move c5 here many of them most of them so you once you see those games you will realize after d5 what would you play here how lights how moving the knight sir no. sorry now moving the knight knight d7 yeah possible but e6 okay. is much more logical attacking the center and so you will never be able to play this way if you do not analyze your games and you should look at those games in a from i i personally prefer looking it in chess base because on chess base there are games chess base and mega database so that is the reason why i don't have this feature so does premium account also have this sorry feature? Does, does premium account also have this yes. feature sir? yes so now what i do okay that's a good good point uh i do it in chess base and mega database but you can also do it in the premium account and look at this how to do it so once you have played this game the game gets auto saved okay i'm going to bring you about this and i'm also going to bring myself about this so what will happen is that now you go to home okay and uh, so you go to account.chessbase.com which is the main website and over here you go to my games when you go to my games you will see that your game is saved here automatically see this is the game so when i play d4 you will see the moves are automatically coming below it can you see it yes sir yes sir yes so the moves are automatically coming here so you played knight f6 c4 it's called a live book below d6 knight c3 g6 e4 bishop g7 f3 castles knight e2 and now you will see c5 is played in 934 games e5 is played in 228 games a6 is played in 361 what did you play knight d7 this is played in lesser number of games i played bishop g5 and now this is all score by white over here it always is by white so if you are black lower the score better could be the move so c6 is scoring pretty well but it has only 10 games you can check it out c6 and then when you play the move c6 you can hear you can do search if this button is here uh, live database you can do refresh list when you do refresh list uh, i think it will come the same you are a premium member now so you can load a game and you can then play through it as to how to play it from black side white side so you will be able to learn this opening very well okay so main aim is that after every game you play you analyze it you make you see your mistake and there's also a feature called as mark move like say c6 you liked very much you can go to here and say my moves you can mark this move what does it mean is that you have an opening database here see openings in account.chessbase.com and inside it you have your white repertoire and black so you mark c6 right so when you do load black here you will see that this line is automatically saved in your repertoire here with c6 so you can do for different openings and they will all get saved in your opening repertoire and then you can always revise so here you can go back here and you can say drill black drill and so now you play knight f6 it will play g6 f3 bishop g7 d6 castles 
bishop e3 now played until end of preparation so now what is the next good move that you want to play you can click here theory white you can learn some new openings you can try another move so basically once you start building up your repertoire in this you will be able to learn a lot okay sir. thank you okay uh, uh... I'm so glad, sir. Like I played a game with you. Like the first time you replied to my email, I kept it as my status. Like to all my friends that I got a like that I got a reply from you. Now I played a game with you. Like it's like a dream come true for me, sir. Really, I can't. Uh, I'm unable to express my happiness. I'm very really, happy. I'm, so... I'm very happy that it's a dream come true. But it's no big thing, yeah. Like what you must do is you must work on your chess and improve. That would be more important. then playing a game with me yeah so you work hard for that okay okay all the best pranav good luck guys that was pranav who joined us here uh, last time as well today uh, also he was here and he learned something important how to save a game how to analyze it and you can do all this with the chessbase premium account it's a very nice feature so do check it out you know chessbase premium account let's go to the next one triple exclamation mantra op triple exclamation okay this looks like a dangerous uh person with so many exclamations let's see hello mantra op Yes sir. Hello, how are you? Yes sir. I am good sir, big fan sir. Big fan. Okay. Are you 18 years old? No sir. Uh 16? Yes sir. Precisely. Okay. Can you switch on your camera? Just 2 minutes sir. Give me just 2 minutes please. Okay. By the way, guys, can you see uh, what is this photo here? What's your name? Sir, it's a Viking hero, and I am very inspired by Vikings. That's why I kept a photo. You are eighteen years old, and you are inspired by Vikings. Sir, sixteen. sixteen. Ah, sorry, sixteen, and you are inspired by Vikings. Very interesting. Yes. Okay. Sir, I have mailed you. Can you check it? What did you mail me? Ah, uh, sir, actually, it's live on stream, so I can't say. But uh, what did, uh, should I check now? No, no, sir, at your convenience. Ah, I'll check it. I'll check it. But can you switch on your camera? Yes, sir. Sure. Good morning, sir. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What's your name? Mantra. Sorry. Mantra, mantra. Mantra is your name. Yes. Okay, fantastic. And uh, where are you from? Gujarat, Jamnagar. Jamnagar. Yes. Okay. Uh, and tell us about your chess. How strong are you? Uh, I, uh, sir, I am say pretty strong, but I make a lot of blunders. You are pretty in the strong, game. but you. Uh, by the way, what's written on your T-shirt? When? When in doubt, go to sleep. when <laughs> you are inspired by vikings and your shirt says when in doubt go to sleep i'm very very uh, curious to know more about you but okay we'll sure, stick sir. to chess we'll stick to chess yeah, uh, sure. so you are uh, making a lot of mistakes yeah in the middle game mostly okay why does that happen any idea no sir uh, uh, sagar sir. no idea uh so how can i help you because blunders are a part of it so so what how be a little more specific what's your rating uh, on on online or chess.com say blades it is uh, 900 okay. and leeches it's 1200 okay 
do you have any games or anything that i can check no sir no okay uh, let's go here and let's try to get you here and i'll be here uh, let's play some moves shall we okay so you take the white pieces what will you play can you d4? see my screen yeah d4 d4 okay i'll play d5 uh c4 Knight c3. Knight f3. G3. Uh, bishop, bishop g2. Um, castles. Bishop G five, Bishop G five, yes, Bishop G five. Mm, sir, no idea. I'm stuck here as to how to protect my knight. Which knight? Which knight do you want to protect? C knight. But no one is attacking it, no? But next move, uh, B4, uh, B4 is coming, sir. Okay, but why did you play these moves? Developing the pieces rapidly, sir. Yes, but you gave up one pawn, no, to me? Hmm. Why did you but do that? that? That also created a weakness. You have got these ugly doubled pawns, sir. Yeah, I agree. This. I agree. I got ugly doubled pawns, but they are now looking not so ugly because you cannot yes. win them back. So, sir, okay, you are the on. best. No, nothing. That's like why that. I came. That's why I came to you, Sagar Bhai. It's uh -huh. Doctor oh. Chess. Sir. Okay, but what will you play here? Because I cannot uh, cure you without knowing. It's like saying that I'm very unhealthy. Going to a doctor and telling him I'm very unhealthy. And then the doctor has to actually figure out where, what is it that you are unhealthy in. So making blunders is a very big thing in chess. You know, like everyone makes blunders, right? From a grandmaster. Okay. To, so if you tell me I make a lot of mistakes in chess, I would say that is the nature of the game. But where exactly do you make mistakes is what I need to know. Knight f4 is a good move here. Knight, Knight to f4. Uh, f4 is here. This no, it, no, no, it would be hanging. Knight e4 would be hanging. So queen b1. Okay, queen b1. Very interesting. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'll do this. Knight, knight e4. But do you see that I actually put my bishop here to actually yes. control this? But square? that way I can, if you capture my knight, I can capture with the queen and attack your rook as well. Yeah, but I played bishop b7. Yes, yes. So here, if That's... I take here, you can't take it back because my knight defends it. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I forgot about that. So what should I have done here, Sagar, sir? Uh, basically, you should not put your pieces on squares where they are hanging. Okay. okay. So I should start defending them basically from the start or from the opening. Not really. Not really. What The way you played was good. The, the way you finished your development is good. But now it's time to take the center. Okay. So E4? Yeah. E4 is a good move. Why not? With some tempo. Oh, e4. Capture. Here. I didn't. Uh, that was by mistake. Now let's say I play oh. bishop b7. 
Now. Bishop b7. Okay. That's a good move, sir. I have no clue what to play here. Look. Uh, I could go for some ran random moves. Not random moves. Try to see what is hanging in the position. And try to see if you can attack something. Queen e1. Queen e1. Yeah, but queen e1, what do you do? You defend e4. Can you make an aggressive move? Aggressive move. Yeah. Knight. Sir, so knight to e knight to e6. Knight to e5. Not bad, not bad. It's a good move. Knight to e5. Because now your bishop starts to protect the e4 pawn. And also your yes. knight is actively placed. Another good move can be to push the pawn to e5 and attack. E5. But I was skeptical about it. So Why? I didn't. But you Why said that you should not. So uh, like the, you should, the pieces should not be moved in the opening twice. I know. But uh, now it's we are almost going past the opening stage with all your pieces developed. Okay. okay, okay. Then, so so then, then e5 would yes. be fine. Plays knight d5, you can take queen takes, yes. and queen maybe takes. just just play your knight to perhaps e4 <laughs> with the idea of this maybe knight c5. Uh, see, there are many possibilities that you can do in such positions. The main thing, which right now is your biggest problem, is that you cannot see if someone is attacking your piece, and when something is hanging, you must take it. Yes. And you must not be afraid of, uh, you know, you must not say, I don't understand what's happening uh, and all of that. The, the, the main thing about chess is that whatever be your level, you must try to understand that position to the best of your abilities yes, there. Sir. Yes, sir. Because if you constantly keep saying it's very difficult for me to understand, it's very difficult for me to understand, then you may never be able to understand. Yes, Hmm. Sir, by the way, I wanted to ask a slight question to you. If you play with the white pieces, then which is a better opening, e4 or d4? It depends. Both are good. But if you are an aggressive player, e4 looks better. If you are a more positionally inclined player, then d4 is better. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mantra, the main thing for you is to play your games. Okay. Whenever yes. you play. To actually see where you made a piece blunder, where did you blunder a pawn, or where did you make a mistake, where did you miss taking a piece. So the best thing to do is play a game and then look over it carefully if you want to improve. Do you have Thank a coach? You. No, sir. In Jamnaka, there are not many not coaches available, sir. I'm sure there would be someone to teach chess. I'll figure out, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, if you can get someone and then when you play it, he analyzes your game and tells you your mistake, yes. your improvement can be faster. Well, I have a question. Why do I make considerably lesser mistakes over the board? Uh, maybe you are used to playing over the board and not online. Maybe, so. Thank you. Thank you, Sagarbhai. Big oh. fan, by the way, sir. Sagarbhai. Thank you. Thank you, Mantra. Take care. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Mantra was just 16 years old, had a lot of questions, a lot of inquisitiveness in him. And uh, well, I guess some people do think that they cannot improve at chess, which is wrong. Yeah, because uh, I believe that everyone can improve at chess if they put effort in the right direction. And if they find their mistakes, it's just like saying, I cannot lead a good life. It's not true. Yeah, You can always lead a good life if you figure out what is going wrong and try to fix it. Ashish Negi says, could you give best wish to B1 on the board chess? Ashish, what is written? I didn't understand. B1 on board chess, T-O-U. Harjap Singh says, Sagar Bhai, I have been meaning to play with you for long. Harjap, if you are in the queue, I would be happy to play against you uh, here. 
let's go to the next person in the queue who is it on the doctor chest rishila oh vidit fan rishila let's see rishila was here once i believe but that was a long time ago and if i'm not mistaken from what i read in the chat she's been waiting from 6 in the morning today let's see by the way all those who are uh please try to join in chess base india discord that would be a nice place rishila hello rishila can you hear me hello sir yeah i can hear you yeah hello, hello rishila hi hi sir can you switch on your camera yes sir one minute can you see me sir yes is it true you are waiting since 6 am yes sir it's very much true i woke up at 5:30 and i'm waiting from 6 am really yes sir very nice good to know rishila and uh, sorry to keep you waiting tell me how can no, i sir. help you a uh, sir i was thinking at how to play the london system because i uh, like uh, i uh, always face so many problems like in london system but i don't really know how to play the london system so it's been a trouble so like how to play the london system uh, you want to know how to play with white or against the london system with white with white okay let's uh let's have a look at it by the way uh, yeah let's so first of all i think one of the major things about london if i have to teach you something in let's say 5 minutes or so is that you open the game with d4 opponent plays knight f6 you play bishop to f4 okay yes then let's say he plays d5 you play your pawn to e3 your idea is to put your bishop on d3 sometimes sometimes the bishop could also go to b5 if white has played if black has played c5 you develop your knight to f3 and you castle and you play your other pawn to c3 and you bring your knight to d2 okay so if i have to just make white smooth the ideal setup would be knight f3 bishop d3 c3 castles and knight bd2 so you see this is a very common setup in the london now what are the ways in which you can learn london are many but i'll tell you one of the ways in which you can try to learn it in a way which will be very useful for you okay so what you do is you go to youtube are you a subscriber on chess base india yes sir okay very nice so you go to chess base india and you go to the playlists here okay once you go to the playlists okay. there are certain playlists in the opening one of them is london system and why i like chess base india's playlists is because it's not just about the opening it's about let's look at this one 12 year old pranav uses the london system to beat gm karthik venkatraman so this is pranav here and he is talking about his game as to how he beat a gm using the london system okay then after okay, that sir. you can check this interview india's biggest london system expert shares his knowledge then you can look at this one uh, where vidit maybe played the london system then you will see magnus carlsen playing the london system if i go so then you can learn what you should do many times when you watch these videos is you can just pause the video at some point let's say here wang how is thinking for his move and let's say he played queen d6 now what would carlsen play here can you see the board uh yes yeah, sir so now what should carlsen play here uh 
sir, can he castle? Maybe to uh, complete his development. Yes, but then F four pawn is hanging, right? Um. Uh, then. Uh. So you think this way, and here uh, your move is castle. Then you can play the. And look, Carlson played g3, and you are like, okay, he saved the pawn. Okay, let me see now what Wang Hao played. Wang Hao played b6. Now you can again pause, and you can think, what will be my move? What would you play here, Rishila? Uh, in this position. Now, um, now can I castle or? I can now oh. go to. So now like, you think um, about castling. What other move would you think of? Like uh, uh, bringing my other rook. Where? Uh, like uh, to uh, c one. Yeah, but there's a pawn on c two, right? It's not an open file, so it doesn't make so much sense. So you can then look at it. And uh, if you think about castling, you can see what Carlson does. Carlson is thinking for his move, and then you can fast forward if you want to. Some because this is a quite a long video; it's a forty-five minute one. And you will see he played the move queen e two. He kept his king flexible in the center so that it can go to long castle also. So what you do is. With all this material, you try to learn how to play the London system. Then you play online. You play against some opponent and you play some games. And then we analyze that game and you learn from it. So yes. there are many books on the London systems. There are many DVDs also on the London London system. But why I like this way of learning is that it is interactive. Looking at these playlists, for example, look here. Improving chess episode thirty-one. Learning London system. I have dedicated an entire uh, stream to learning the London system. So you can go here and you can actually check it out at some point where you know we are talking about how the London system works and all of it. See. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Uh, and and one thing, sir, like uh, I don't get much time to practice chess nowadays, like forty five minutes or so. So, like, how can I improve fast, like in that some minutes only? Can you? Like, how can I practice? Can you find more time? Uh, uh, yeah, but like at this couple of time, like at this moment, I have my. Exams and also like not much time, so like how can I practice in that time? I think generally, if you are level, if I am not wrong, is somewhere around one thousand to twelve hundred, right? Yes, my wedding is one thousand one thousand one hundred and fifty. Yeah, so in, in that in such a level, it's very important to work on tactics. So whenever I uh, advise someone at this level. i would say you can solve a lot of tactical positions it could be some online something online or you may have some chess book for example i have this book here chess course so i can just open a open a position see there are so many positions here and i can instantly start thinking as to what should white play here what should black the main aim is to stay in touch you must keep working on chess and working on chess means not to just watch streams not to just watch videos but make your brain think see when we look at a video of magnus carlsen for one hour we may learn something but not a lot but when we guess his moves and we are like oh i would play this move what does magnus play and then magnus his move is different then we learn more so interactive learning is very important and you can always make it interactive Yes. Okay. So try to okay. solve some some books, some online portals. Try to do more tactics. But forty five minutes is a little too less. Maybe you can spend a couple of hours, two hours if you can find. That would be nice. Yes, sir. That maybe I can manage. Okay. 
ओके सर थैंक यू सो मच सर या बाय ऋषिला टेक केयर बाय सर बाय द वे गाइस दैट वाज ऋषिला एंड शी इज वेरी वेल नोन इन द चेस सर्कल्स एज अ बिग फैन ऑफ विदित गुजराती देयर वाज दिस वीडियो ऑफ शॉर्टेस्ट गेम ऑफ मैग्नस कार्लसन एंड शी वाज देयर विद हर फैमिली इन कोलकाता एंड दे वर प्रेइंग फॉर विदित्स विक्ट्री वेरी नाइस फैमिली and it was nice to have you rishila on the stream okay let's go to the next one by the way some of you are are saying that i'm promoting my own channel to tell you guys uh, i can tell you one thing for all those who are new here that the reason why chess base india has so many videos is for the uh, richness of the content and they are authentic videos it's not like i am teaching only that sort of videos but you have magnus carlsen playing you have a good london expert who is a very good player who's beaten a gm and i have interviewed him so all these videos are actually not uh, chess base india material it's actually a material that is been taken from different sources and when you learn in this way it's sort of an unstructured way of learning it's not like a book or a dvd but i really like this way of learning much more than a structured man way because when you start unstructured you learn from here you learn from there then you start applying you start learning very quickly and then you are like oh i made a mistake here what can i do and i like that more than picking up a book and learning it fully then maybe playing in a tournament then applying it then finding a mistake it's a slow process so it's just a somehow it's a, it's a difference in the way in which you uh, approach things but i like this approach much more uh, i call it the unstructured structure approach okay so let's go to the next one sumit 0408 let's go to sumit okay sumit can you hear me hello hello sumit maybe not i don't see it i don't i don't hear him sumit can you hear me if you can hear me then you can try switching on your camera yeah somehow he is muted i think he just was there here and then he left so maybe we can go to the next person in the queue that is crazy asian crazy asian let's get crazy asian here okay what sort of sound is that hello crazy asian are you there bhanyawada Uh, yes sir hi hi sir uh can you switch wait uh, let me guess your age you are 16 no sir i am 14 you are 14 okay can mm. you switch on your camera no sir i am i am joining from a pc so so there is no okay. camera yes sir okay then can we uh, can you tell me how can i help you Yes, sir. I want to know how to convert the advantages, like in position, positional advantages or material advantages. Do you have a game? Uh, yes, sir. I have many games, but do you have many games where you have lost a winning position? Ah, uh, yes, sir. So can today, you send, have... can you send me one game. of those games? Yes, sir. Was someone scolding you before you came on the call? No sir, no sir. It was just my fa father. Uh, what was he okay. telling you? No, he was just uh, talking normally. Uh, was he telling you <laughs> why are you spending time on Discord of Chess Base India and not studying? No sir, not like that. 
okay what's your name so my father also encourages uh, chess okay what's your name sir aditya aditya where are you from uh, sir delhi no doubt sorry delhi okay uh, aditya i'm going to say hi to you you can send me on discord your game okay sir did you get a hi uh, yes sir yes sir i got it yeah send your game there sir just a second I was actually just watching your stream, but it was showing some other person in the stream, so I got really tense when he actually came here. Okay. okay, I'm gonna wait for you to send me your game. Okay, sir. Yeah, you sent me here. Good. Let's see. And yeah, here. Let's go to this side. Sir, but in this game, actually, I blundered a more. I had a really good position in this game. You are playing white or black? You are gamer of chess. Sir, white. Yes, sir. I'm gamer of chess. Okay. D four, G six, C four, Bishop G seven, Knight C three, C five, D five, Knight F six, E four. Very well played until now. D six, Knight F three, Knight B D seven, Bishop E two. You are a strong player, yeah. Yes, so not yes, really sir. strong. Yes, Some eighteen hundred. Yeah, e six, queen c two, rook b eight, a four, stopping b five, b six, bishop e three, knight g four, bishop d two. Okay, knight e five. You took, took, f four. Mm. I'm a little bit apprehensive of this move f4, uh, because when you play f4, he went knight g4. You played h3. What was your idea if I gave a check? Sir, in which position? Can uh, you see my screen? No, sir, I cannot screen. See your screen. See, there is a button called watch stream there. Uh, Can you find it? Yes, ma'am. Now, yes, sir. Now I can see your screen. Yes. Yeah. So this position, what would you do here? Sir, I would go king h1. Yeah, and then uh, what if after king h1, he would play? Oh, I think you the you the exchange. Not really, because knight f2. I was thinking king h2. Ah, oh, yes. Now I'm safe, right? Or yeah. you can give some sacrifice on h3, bishop h3. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look very dangerous, but uh, I was thinking more in terms of knight e3 here, yeah. bishop e3, bishop e3. This position. So, but his bishop is a little weak, right? Yeah, it looks as, as kind of misplaced, but I'll I'll try to go back like this. Oh, yes. Oops, sorry. So you got an out. I I mean I got your important bishop, but um. What I would think here maybe better is to first go h3, so that f4. Then there is no knight g4. Okay. Okay. Anyway, it's not a big thing. F4. He went. He went back. Knight f6. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you played rook d1. Why rook d1? So because I because I wanted to line up the, with the queen. So this rook was already placed with the f4 pawn. Yeah, here it's the, well placed. I wanted to break it. But yes, this yes. is controlling by the pawn. So why not put the rook on e1? Sir, I thought if I play e5 at some point, then he we will take with the d pawn, and this file will open up. Yeah, so no, but you idea. for you to play e5, you need power. So that's why I want to get the rook here. That's okay. how I was thinking. But okay, rook a d1, bishop b7. Bishop e1. Okay, very interesting move. You want to get. Your I bishop. wanted to open up the rook and also get my bishop. Yeah, ninety-seven. Oh, g4. Looks risky. Looks risky to me. Yes, ah. sir. I just wanted to have some fun. <laughs> yeah, but just have fun with bishop h4. <laughs> I like this fun more. I like white position. It's a little more safe. Yeah, because your fun of g4, not h6. Yeah, I would say that he should try to do something more active here. Uh, he should move his king and get the rook. I think. 
um okay. how about hitting in the center with uh, first let's so say can you play f5 can f5 play f5 yeah i was thinking of f5 looks very interesting uh, but uh, e5 will close the bishop but e5 don't you lose a pawn okay you will take and you will take with the knight yeah uh. and also i was thinking if we if we can give a check here how is that move so it is good i don't know but, like the main uh, point was that if you go king h1 i want to break in with e6 and once uh, i break this position then my bishop is looking at your king my queen may be more active on uh, this diagonal but the problem so is so now there are so many pieces here so yeah you can uh, play even bishop f2 and after uh, takes takes e6 is not possible just as yet because after take take the d6 pawn is hanging yes so sir. i'm not sure uh, whether your g4 move is bad or not but i think black should play f5 otherwise black may get just squashed mm -hmm. even f5 looks good for you you know once you have these bishop here which is completely jammed in so yes sir i was also going for that only the pieces are on the queen side doing nothing so yeah. i wanted to just attack on the king side h6 and now guys uh, uh, let's ask the chat here aditya i think you played a very nice move did you see the blitz challenge with inian yesterday no sir try to check it out he uses the same idea in this position guys why to play here what would you play in this position let's try to think why to play how would you continue e5 okay now bishop h4 is a good move uh that is definitely not a bad move all those who said bishop h4 not at all bad yes soham you are right soham says e5 this is exactly what uh Yes, now I get a blockading knight on e4 and also. Yeah, well, I forgot your it. name. Sorry, can you tell me again? For Aditya. Aditya, yeah. E5, D E F5, and this is always a good idea, guys, because if you play directly F5, then the E5 square can be used by the knight. But when mm -hmm. you sacrifice a pawn and then play F5, then the opponent's pawn itself blocks the pieces. So you went G5. Okay. Yeah. You went h4. Okay, you want you are going for a full on attack. F6, mm. knight e4, queen c7. And, and then now, I think I continued to play on the queen side. Yeah. Okay. A5 takes rook a1. Bishop a8 takes queen b7. Okay, how do you play here? You played bishop to c3. So p8. So I just wanted to create some play with the a6 pawn, but I think it was very well defended. Yeah, knight b8. Knight b8 was played. G, g. Okay, king g2. Now you want to transfer on the h file. You're playing very logically. King g3. King f7, Queen a4, Bishop b7, Bishop f3, and now actually he's you know you've defended all of you have tried to attack here he's defended it and he's trying to get mm. here. So you played yeah. Rook a3. Why Rook a3? Idea is Rook b3. Oh yes, sir. Rook b3. He came Rook h4. You went Rook b3. He went Queen c7, and you took a pawn. He went back. Okay. I took the bishop. Uh, okay, now you are a piece up. Huh. So this position is completely winning, but I blundered it. Okay, let's so, try to think how how can you win this position because he has a threat, which is maybe rook h two, with the idea of coming in with the queen to h three. Correct. Ah uh, yes, sir. Or he can go rook h three, uh, king f two, and 
and he can sack the rook. Just yeah, but rook h3, king f2, and rook takes f3. Okay. okay and he will get a draw. Hmm. So you have a couple of things to solve here, couple of problems. Yes. So how can we do that? Also, I was thinking if you move your bishop here to g2, stopping some of his threatening sir, ideas. Sir, but still he will get rook, f, uh, rook h2 and then uh, he will threaten queen, yeah. queen h4. I was also thinking if he can take here, king takes, check. I or, think the bishops cover the king properly, so this won't work. Or maybe queen h2. Uh, Look at so, this. Now I'm taking on g2, and if I don't take on g2, I have queen f4 check. Yes. So Looks I think I can bring the queen back. Where? Queen c2. But can then queen f4? Queen c2, queen f4, king h1, king h3, sorry. Yeah, beautiful oh, checkmate. So you see, Aditya, this position here, computer uh -huh. may say it's winning, okay? But mm -hmm. for human beings, it's not easy. So you have to be very focused. I don't even know whether this is winning for you. Let's try to think, how can you win this? Mm -hmm. What about queen d1? Queen d1? Is that queen possible? Queen d1, rook h2. Again yeah. the same thing. Rook h2 with the idea of queen h4. Uh, queen h4 mate. But you can move the bishop, right? Then. Uh, queen d1. Rook h2. If bishop g2, there is a check, king f3, and this looks okay, right? Or this is, is some problem? Can he sack again? Where? Like, uh, g2. But king g2? Okay. King g2, oh, he doesn't have an... Okay, then queen, oh, the queen covers the g, uh, g4 pawn. Yeah. Uh, so that also doesn't work. So I think this position is winning for white. Yeah, let's not hurry. Let's not hurry. See, the thing is, so uh, Aditya, that mm -hmm. you will keep on constantly losing such positions if you are not serious about them. Okay. So you need to be very careful. For example, how about trying to get some counterplay here with rook takes e7? How is this move? So the king takes king, king e7? Yeah, is there any check coming up? No, sir. So, because the knight is covering all the checks, right? Yeah, queen d7 I wanted to play, but the knight is covering. Uh, and knight e4 might be a bit too slow because, because you already start playing here. Yeah? Yeah. Takes and your play begins. So, maybe, let's just think about it this way. Queen d1. Now, a uh, couple of moves. Let's say rook h3 check. Now mm -hmm. king f2 and now oh, if you take, I am going to take with the queen. queen. Now if you give king. a check, what can I do? Let's say I... King e3. King e3 I want to play, okay. Um, but then he will take queen g3. Maybe he will take queen takes g4. Ah, let's see how to do that. Then so, I think my attack is coming a little too soon then. Who? Black's attack, yeah? So let's try to think no. how to stop the attack. See, this is how you will improve when you are winning a position. Okay, when you lose winning positions, it's because at such moments you do not take it seriously. And if you have to take it seriously, you need to put in effort to figure out what went wrong. Hmm. So what went wrong here? Guys in the chat, why not Bishop G2 first? So hum. Bishop g2 so um, I was worried of about takes takes and queen h2 I don't know if this is a big problem or not threat is to give take this also this the, this looks bad 
maybe it's there's some way to defend why do you think this position is winning for you sir i don't know i can just check the engine you check the engine before after the game did the engine say that you are winning oh uh, yes sir the engine said that this position is winning okay so i don't need to check let's try to think see whenever engine says something it means that okay it's a just a hint in the direction but maybe it's not the right move yes so i think you uh he's always threatening stuff like rook h2 right uh, what about queen c2 queen c2 but then he will play rook h uh, rook h3 yeah king here and then he will capture the bishop and then no, they must take i take perpetual and then uh, queen h3 yeah but then king e2 i think i'll run away okay Black's problem is that these two pieces are just horrible. Uh, so he has to do something with the rook and queen. Yeah, some of the people in the chat are mentioning rook takes e seven, king takes e seven, d six. Interesting. But then king takes on d six, and then I think there is no check after that also. Check. Um, and uh, king e seven. bishop uh, b4 and ah. then king f7 and the uh, knight uh, and then king g8 yeah but then just check uh, so this will be a uh, this will be uh, draw how draw if you play bishop f8 i'll checkmate you If you play king h7, I'll play. Check. So you will king here and then I'll check. Oh, this is amazing. So uh, rook e7 takes d6 might well be a checkmating idea. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, looks strong. No? But can you refuse the pawn? Huh? But can you refuse the uh, refuse the pawn? Well, how to refuse? King uh -huh. f8. King f8, then knight uh, knight e6. Yeah, now king f7. Uh, but then, but then bishop d5 is something else. Like. Yeah, but bishop d5. I rook think it will move slow. Takes check, and yeah, somehow the king will escape. No. Ah uh, yes, it can escape. Yes. So I think he doesn't have to sacrifice the rook. He can just give check. You know, uh, Aditya. You see, even in post-game analysis, when we have so much time, it's not so simple. So the biggest mistake you can do ever is to check the computer and say, "Oh, I was winning." No, you were not. The computer would have won, but not you. So it's oh, very yes, important to actually consider. all the opportunities available look it's so computer will play move like this and then when you take take check king here check something it will start running it will give away this piece it will give up one more piece and somehow you will win but as a human being it may be difficult to find those things so my suggestion to you is to put in effort and then once you put in the effort then you start the engine like in this case and then you try to understand if all your calculations were correct and do this exercise seriously mm, yes sir so here there are many winning moves according to the computer but the like the one it says is d6 okay and if now i go rook h2 it's too slow because of bishop d5 check and rook takes b8 next one and there is a mating attack so he cannot play rook h2 he plays check now you go king g2 yeah no king g2 and then check rook h2 king g1 and then the king will run away 
and now it's actually big problem for him because check and this is coming. Now you may consider this entire variation as very simple, but to actually put your king on g1 is not easy. Remember not this. Easy so. Yes. So that is why if you want to become a good player and if you want to stop losing winning positions, you really need to apply yourself in such positions. You really need to tell yourself, look, I need to think on my own. I cannot just be like, oh, computer says winning, so it's winning. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, you will lose several games in, lose, in winning positions. But if you have the habit of analyzing them carefully, you will be able to save yourself. Hmm. Yeah. So, yes. so my suggestion, Adit, you are already a very strong player. I can feel it is to actually sit down and to analyze your games carefully. Look what you did. You played knight takes a6, which is a horrible move. And then it's very frustrating when you lose such a game where you are completely winning. See, you got checkmated. But if you had actually spent, I feel the critical moment was here. When knight takes a6 was played. So here you need to think of d6 or Actually, I had to move into defense, so I did not. No, not really defense. It's a counter attack. How is it defense when I'm playing a move like d6? Uh, d6 is counter attack, but I'm taking a pawn, right? So that was no. That was not needed in the position. Also, you know what I would also think of a very good move is knight e4. And the thing is, I'll I'm getting my uh, knight into the game. So if you're going to play check, I'll come here. If you're going to take here, I'll take. If you give me a check, I'll just put my knight and I'm the happiest person now. With my knight saving the king. Looks good. Okay. Yes, sir. I, I'm still a little bit confused what happens after e4. But can take and... Uh, I was thinking you have two very active pieces. Two. Sure. Even if you sacrifice the knight, you are still winning. Yeah. Because so. your pieces are very active, right? Yeah. His knight and bishop are doing nothing. Yes. But uh, take these things seriously, okay? The computer will yes. tell you something else. It will say plus 20 advantage to white. But on the game, it doesn't feel like plus 20. It looks like as if you are almost going to get checkmated. So yes, don't sir. fall into the trap of checking computer only. Okay, I have to put in the effort to analyze the position myself. Very much, very much and very seriously. And then you must write down, okay, this is the way, then check with the computer. And if you do this at least 10, 15 times, you will, your uh, ability to sense danger will improve. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for I'll give you one last example. For example, you are going in a zoo. Yeah, you are going or, or you are going in a night safari and mm -hmm. you hear the sounds of a tiger. Yes, sir. And the person next to you tells you, don't worry, don't worry. Everything is okay. Uh, what would you do? Would you listen to him or would you be very careful? I would be very careful. Because your life is at stake, right? Mm. Similarly, in a position, if the if there is an attack at your king and the engine says to you, oh, it's winning, don't worry, don't worry. You cannot I mean. take it lightly because one wrong mm. step and you get checkmated. So you need to be very careful. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Wish you all the best, Aditya. See you soon. Bye. Bye, sir. Okay, I would usually prefer having a camera on but somehow Aditya was very very dedicated and he is a good player. I hope this helps him. Let's go to Snehit here. Snehit. By the way, at 1 p.m. we have the training sessions session with Biswa. So... Hello, Snehit.
Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you are twelve years old. Yes, sir, you got it right. Thank you. Can I see you? Yes, sir. One minute. Just on my video. Hi, sir. Hi. Where are you from, Snehit? Sir, I'm from Bangalore. You're from Bangalore. What's your full name, Snehit? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I don't know. Your voice just went away. There's some problem. Now it's okay, but I can't hear you still. By the way, till you try to fix it, I had a couple of super chats that I wanted to read. One is magic. Magicy Bunny who says Saga Bhai, I do chess and chill streams these days. Eleven hundred late rated. Love it if you can see the channel once. Magicy Bunny, आपको पसंद आएगा. Okay, Magicy Bunny, I'll check this out later. But uh, good that you are doing it, uh, and it's very nice of you to. Uh, let me just check Magicy Bunny. How is your channel sketches games and reviews very nice looks uh, very high quality ya matre mein to hai to koshish karte hain koshish karte hain kuch banane ki nice nice Guys, check it out. It's very interesting. He's made it uh, very professionally. His channel. Snehit, are you able to fix your sound? You came in uh, perfectly, yeah, and then suddenly, all of a sudden, your sound went away. What happened? Did I do something wrong? My, I'm, all my settings are just perfect. Okay, till you fix it again. I'm going to read one more super chat. Abhishek Deshpande says hi Sagar every stream teaches us something new congrats again for 500k thank you Abhishek Abhishek you have always been a silent supporter of this channel and thanks a lot for that uh, i have never seen you yeah you, uh, or anything of that sort so maybe you can write a mail to me later would lo love to speak to you uh, sai chris gaming says can we get a game analyzed via super chat contribution Cyclist, if if you can come to Doctor Chess, that would be better. Then I can analyze it better. But uh, you can send in at chessbaseindia at gmail dot com. If I find some time, I would love to help you. Yeah, Snehit, and couldn't fix it. Yeah. Okay, I you can hear me. you can hear me okay shall we do our dumb charades thing like we used to do have you seen that okay what is the problem that you are facing if you are facing problem uh, in ch in openings then you can do one middle game two end game three or if something else four middle game okay is it about tactics positional play uh, is it about calculation is it about it's about calculation okay what is the problem in calculation uh is it like you are unable to uh, calculate variations deeply and accurately or uh you miss your opponent's resources do you not and you are not able to convert winning positions or all of them Did you write something to me?
सर आई विल मैसेज यू यू विल मैसेज मी ऑन ऑन माय मेल यू विल राइट अ मेल टू मी ऑन चेस बेज इंडिया जी मेल ओके ग्रेट देन आई आई विल चेक दैट आउट ओके स्नेहित एंड ट्राई टू फिक्स योर साउंड आई डोंट नो योर साउंड वॉज गुड वी कुड हैव स्पोकन बट सम हाउ आई कॉन्ट हियर यू नाउ बट आई नो दैट यूर नेम इज स्नेहित यू आर फ्रॉम बैंगलोर and that you have a middle game problem which is related to calculation uh, and you will go, you will send a mail to me okay see you bye <laughs> very cute kid very cute see you okay let's do a last one before we end today sid underscore bot Abhishek says, "I have sent you an Instagram DM. I sent it one a while back, but it, you know, there was one more person, uh, Rohit Athalia, I think, who said he sent me. I tried to find. Also, Abhishek, I tried to find. There are so many messages. I'm unable to find. So, if you can send me a hi again on Instagram, then could be easier for me to to find you. So, if you can do that." okay sid underscore bot oh he left sid underscore bot oh he's here move to dr chess magici bunny says would be amazing if i can get you on the stream some day sagar bhai pakka good quality stream hogi waiting in your lobby for discord also we'll try magici bunny uh we'll try to do this sid underscore bot can you hear me is it my issue that i that i cannot hear you because or is it your microphone your microphone is okay then i should be very very sorry to uh, the young boy Are you muted? Let me do something. Let me try. Hello. 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 Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Did you change something? I uh, know uh, I was just looking in the settings but I couldn't find anything so but now I can hear you maybe it was something oh, oh okay okay you can you see me what's your name sid siddharth yeah siddharth yeah hi Siddhar. where are you from um i'm from australia you're from australia uh, i did yeah nice nice and where originally from india yeah originally from delhi delhi nice mm-hmm. nice and uh, tell us a bit about your chess so uh, i just started uh, during the lockdown and uh, after the summer uh, stream time and all that stuff yeah i just started with the streams uh, i wasn't playing before that okay so yeah very recent and uh, what's your online rating like um it's, it's about 1000 uh, 1100 that's yeah that's okay. about it very yeah good. and how can i help mm-hmm. you um so i i have a game if you want to see i can just show you sure can you send it to me on discord yes um i'll send one second
Did you get a hi from me? Hello, hello, Sid. Um, yes. Can you send me your game there? Yeah, yeah. And your suddenly your camera is gone. Um, one second, sir. Is it yeah. back on, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do I send the game? Yeah, it's on Lee Chess, sir. So if yeah. you could tell me how to send. You can go on your score below. What is it's one zero or zero one? It's written. Click on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And then there will be a download PGN button or something like that. I see. I see. One second, sir. Yeah, Yash, uh, thanks for sharing your games. I'll check if, just try to check it out. It's, it's not working, sir, the, the download thing. I'll just try again. OK. Uh, yes, I've sent the game. You sent? Mm -hmm. Yes, on the on the Chessbase India channel. Okay, let's get this. Ah, this may not work, but let's see. Maybe if this doesn't work, you can call out the moves to me and that yeah. would be a way to do it. Yeah, it doesn't work. So tell me the moves. Let's do it that way. Um, okay, uh, how, how can I see the board? Uh, am I, I'll share the stream. Mm -hmm. Can you, can you see the stream now? There's a button called watch stream on Discord. Hello? Uh, I think Discord is giving some issues today. I'm not sure if it is from my end or if it is from his end. It's definitely something going wrong. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, see. It. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't see the stream. Yeah. Now? Um, it's loading. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, yes. tell me the moves. Um, so, uh, it was E4. Uh, uh I was playing as black. Mm. So if, if you can just flip. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, uh, bishop c4, uh, then, yeah, h6, and then bishop c3, um, I can't, yeah, it's uh, bishop c5, and then, no, h6, d4, h6, and then d4, right to play. Yes, uh, white to play and d4. d4, okay. Um, and then knight into d4. And then queen. One sec, there's something wrong. Queen e4, then queen e4. Uh, I think some mistake with... Uh... Yeah, I think so too. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, maybe I can just uh, try and download again and then I'll just try to send you. Okay. 
or maybe you can send it on, over to email to me on chessbaseindia at gmail.com and I'll respond okay. back to you. Okay. Because yeah. uh, there is another stream I have at 1 p.m. And mm -hmm. there are only eight minutes left and I may not be able to do a good job with this. So either, sure, sure. either you can send an email to me or you can, uh, we can do it next, sure. next Dr. Chess session. Yeah. Yeah. We can I do hope, it in the I next hope, session. I hope that is fine. And, uh, yeah, that's totally fine. What, what are you studying in Adelaide? Um, I'm in uh, grade 11, so I'll be doing psychology in two years. And why did you decide to go to Australia? Um, maybe, I mean, you can say for quality life, I guess. For a better quality, yeah? Yeah. Very interesting. I'll be so, playing tournament uh, in December. I'll try and find tournaments. Ah, so you shifted uh, just recently? Um, one and a half year. Yes. Okay. So quite okay. recent. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I wish you all the best. Uh, I think there's this uh, guy who made this song uh, on Samai. His name is Devi Nanand. Uh, mm -hmm. You know this song, Bevafa Samai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard the song. Yeah. And it's he funny. also lives in Australia. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can see, you can get in touch. I guess the chess chess scene in Australia is pretty vibrant in general. So you can, you'll find someone. Yeah, I see people playing uh, chess on the beach all the time. So it's, yeah, it's good. Good, good. Wish you all the best. Yeah. And take care. Thank you, sir. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Bye, sir. Okay, guys, uh, that was today's Dr. Chess. Uh, some technical difficulties there, but I think we managed okay. I hope you guys learned something from this. As always, it's one of the most important streams for me because it get, gives me a chance to interact with all of you. Uh, before I leave, I want to tell you, check out Chessbase India's Mega Diwali sale, which goes on from 7th to 9th of November. And please try to uh, get your favorite chess softwares, books, t-shirts. We have refilled the stock there. We also have Chessbase 16, which is the latest software. So try to get all of that, uh, check, check it out. And uh, I will see you guys in some time with training with Biswa. Okay. Uh, until then, see you guys. Bye-bye.